Alphonse Etienne Dine was from a wealthy background in Paris and went against his family's wishes and became an artist. He painted in what was called the Orientalist style, normally a Western view of the Middle East, which stereotyped its people as wild and exotic. But Dine learned Arabic, spent time getting to know the Bedouin of Algeria, painted Saharan people as they really were, and gave this artistic style a fresh perspective. In 1903, by now in his 40s, Dine decided to move permanently to his favorite Algerian retreat, the oasis town of Bou Saada. He bought this house in the Arab Quarter, deliberately to irritate the French colonial government. He was also impressed by his friend Sliman bin Ibrahim's religious discipline, education and sophistication, which encouraged Dine eventually to convert to Islam. He announced his conversion in a personal letter in 1908 and completed it formally in 1913, when he changed his name to Nasreddin Dine. Dine did paint in a very traditional style, but probably because of his love for Algeria and the people, his paintings have a very warm look and feel. There's a warmth of the sun in the Sahara Desert and of the colored clothes of the Busada people. There's the warmth of the pink on the tops of the mountains at sunset, of the sand and the rocks, all looking to imitate life in a realistic way. His work is the opposite of condescending. No mysterious sands, harems or belly dancers, but rather Algerian daily life, however tough it may have been. Dine's work captures many facets of North African life, but with telling details, sometimes almost hidden. In The Two Dancing Girls, you have to look very carefully to spot a man wearing a red tarbush in the background. And par conséquent, ces tableaux sont faits dans son atelier. Peut-être d'après des croquis, d'après ce qu'il a vu, d'après des photos qu'il aurait prises sur place. C'est ce que lui, il va s'attacher à étudier l'homme du désert. Et c'est là qu'il devient à la fois euh, psychologue, mais ethnologue. Dîner est seul dans sa spécificité qui nous montre un Maghreb riant et joyeux. C'est le plus grand. Alors pourquoi c'est le plus grand Parce que justement, c'est celui qui a compris euh, euh, d'une manière exceptionnelle les Arabes. Certains peintres ont eu une vision euh, extrêmement euh, extérieure, euh, occidentalo centrée, n'est-ce pas euh, Dine, euh, par sa, 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 sa passion et sa compréhension du monde arabe, a été le, est le meilleur interprète de, 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 de ce qu'est le monde arabe. 